Hello everyone, um, here I am with a video game review. I've never done one before. I've been wanting to do video game reviews, but every medieval sort of video game I play, someone else has already reviewed it. I agree or disagree with them. And it turns out being a flop. I don't really like it, so I'm like, I really don't want to review it. I think I found something that's worthy of review. And um, so here it is. This is Hella Quart. Hellish Quart, I should say. Um, it's made by Kobold Studios. Um, it's in demo mode on Steam right now for free. It's just, a, a, you just go in there. It's got some basic demo fights. You can go in there and fight a couple of the characters that are in the game. Um, you can invite a friend off Steam um, to fight with you as well. Um, that's it. It's real basic right now. But it gives you an idea of what the fighting mechanics are going to be in the game. So, I'll, also you may notice some flickering and whatnot. This is actually uh, live on my Twitch, this uh, review. I wanted to see how it runs on Twitch, and it runs great on Twitch. So, I'm going to do some game footage with a controller and keyboard, and then I'll come back with some overall thoughts about the game so far. Oh, good, good low guard, bro. Oh, good dodge on the computer's part. Oh, oh, I got him in the leg, but he got me. That, that there was kind of cool. Ooh, that was good. I like that. I like that. That was cool. I haven't seen him do that yet. That's kind of cool. How do I do that? That was excellent. Yes. That felt right. Oh, double shot to the legs. There, see, I almost got behind him. But I couldn't chop off his head. Oh, nice! I got behind him. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> so now we're gonna get another beer. That was a good shot. I haven't really done keyboard and mouse yet. So, uh, so let's start on passive. Um, see how that goes. Okay, already, I mean, it just already feels natural. Even just moving feels natural again.
Oh, there's a little false edge cut up. That was really nice. Oh, I like that push. I didn't even know you could do that. There's so many things that I think you can do in this game that I just don't know about. Oh, he's tired. Is he tired? Yes, he is. Okay. I don't like the tired mechanics in this game. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video when I talk about hotkeys. Let's go to maneuverable AI with mouse and keyboard. See what happens now. Yeah, I already, already just mouse and keyboard is so much better. Oh, so I think that was a result of me hitting the wrong swing. I was doing the one that comes over from the other side, which opened up my arm. I think. There we go. Take that, yo. How do you flurry like that? I don't know how you flurry. Oh. Okay, so now let's go aggressive. This will be my first aggressive with keyboard and mouse. One of the harder blows to the head I've actually achieved. Okay, so, I mean, that was the gameplay. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I think I finally found something that is amazing when it comes to sword work. So... Depending on what I was saying while I was playing there, overall, my impressions of this game are this is one of the more intuitive games to reality that I've ever played. So much so that I accomplished some things in the game where I'm like, I think that's kind of how I would do it actually when I'm sparring with a saber in real life. So I guess I should clarify that just in case people are watching this that don't watch my channel. I actually do HEMA, which is Historical European Martial Arts. I fight in tournaments, I practice all the time, I spot primarily longsword, but I use saber, side swords, all sorts of weapons. I pulled off some stuff in this game where I'm like, one, I've never experienced anything like that in any other video game, not even close. And also, I felt like that's how I would have done it in real life. Wouldn't have been exactly like that, because of course you're translating it into a video game, but basically I parried someone's, or sorry, my sword got parried on one side and my sword got parried on one side, I sidestepped this way, then came up with an up blow and hit him. And I'm like, that's what I would have done in a sparring session. You know, not that it would have landed. The other person in real life may have parried it. And because it was AI, I was able to hit them. Still, point being, the moves from A, B to C were very, very close to real life. And I found out with a lot of things, even a couple lunges I landed, right, felt realistic. Like some lunges I, uh, I tried to land... I did at the wrong time and I got smashed in the face by the AI and I'm like, well, that felt realistic too. I clearly did that right as he was swinging and I died. And then the couple thrust lunges that I landed were done when the person was finishing their, their action, which is when you would want to do it. And I managed to land a thrust. So in this game, movement and measure and your timing are so important compared to most other video games that if you're into that sort of thing, you'll notice it immediately. Before I close out this video, I have a couple things that I think they might be implementing in the full access of the game or they might not, but I'll, I'll talk about them anyways. Um, in fighting, there, I think there are two things I wanna talk about. 
There's fatigue. So after a few flurries or, or a person swings at you quite a bit and you parry a little bit, your guy gets fatigued. Now your guy recovers eventually. I think it comes on too fast. I mean, from a, from a gaming perspective, I think I can understand what they're doing. But in reality, these duels in this game go so fast and you kill each other so fast, which is very close to reality. Um, I don't think you need fatigue in this game. People in this game aren't, they live this life. So there's no reason why they should be getting fatigued after a 10 second flurry. So I would remove it completely or at least make it the fatigue set on a lot later. Um, the second thing I don't like is the elbow pushes. Now, yes, the elbow pushes, I think mechanically are done well um, and technically are done well in the game. Um, in fact, with Longsword, we train elbow pushes all the time. It, to me, the elbow push seems to be a little bit too overpowered. One, I uh, once again, maybe you can counter it, and I just don't know, but I would think that if someone elbow pushes you and I maybe hit my elbow push button back, it counters it. Um, or it has a quicker recovery time to it. So... I think there should be quicker recovery in that because right now it seems like it's too overpowering for in reality, elbow pushes aren't something that get used very often. Um, and you guys and the game developers have done such a good job with everything else being very realistic and not adding in too many elements into this game that I know of right now that are too overpowering and too exploitable. I think the... Fatigue should be dialed back and the elbow pushes should be re-looked at on how they're implemented. Like I say, technically and graphically, I think they're implemented well. Maybe being able to recover from them a little faster might be the best way to go to leave them in the game. Um, the only other thing that I had a problem with is, so I like keyboard and mouse better than I did the controller. Um, I also don't like mapping everything. I tried mapping everything onto my keyboard, but I didn't like it. I'm just intuitively like a mouse in my hand. So what I ended up using was this mouse. So I mapped all my attack keys here, but I can't get my two regular mouse keys to map to anything. Um, so maybe look at that. Maybe it's this mouse. Maybe it's an overall problem. I don't know, but I could not get them to map. Um, also for key mapping, um, Please, please, please allow me to double up some key maps. So for instance, you don't allow the menu up and down keys and stuff like that to be the same keys as the in-game movement keys. If you guys can do that, it would be nice. I don't like having a separate set of keys to navigate through menus versus the keys I always use, right? So in every other game, I can use my regular keys to navigate through menus. So. Um, maybe look into that. Um, it's a small request. I can live without it, but it would be really nice to just have one set of keys to press enter and to navigate through menus. Trust me, it's just a nice thing to do. Um, but that's it. I'm I'm excited. I'm going to try the early access. I'm excited to try what the game is going to be like. Um, I've only fought AI so far. I'm going to see if I can collect some friends together and, and do some fights against each other. But what you guys have done so far is awesome. Keep it up. Um, other games I've been playing lately that I had high hopes for have just crashed, won't walk, just like they don't live up to the hype. This is the first game I've played in a long time where I've been like, wow, that is what I thought it should be and what I've always wanted. So thank you. Keep it up. I'll keep, I'll be watching. Thanks everyone for watching and, uh, uh, have a good day or evening, wherever you are. Please like, and subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. Have a good one.